Mass Extinction by Nicholas Monti. A vanilla megawatt in the works. Call it limit removing for now. Playing these on crispy ultraviolence. Here's map 13. Kasimovian. Also designated E2M6. 109, 26, and 2. Haven't been a ton of secrets in these last several maps. This is a map of darkness, huh? We have started with the super shotgun a lot lately. The map set has featured a Doom-like progression. Although it's for Doom 2, the first maps were very much Knee Deep in the Dead inspired. Now these are Shores of Hell inspired. You didn't see a super shotgun for the first, I don't know, six or seven maps. You didn't see any commandos for the first five or six. Didn't see Hell Knights, Revenants, etc. for a while. Well, there's the exit. Okay. Yeah, he's barely even visible. Yeah, I don't love that. We got monsters that far away in the darkness hit scanning you. So we're just gonna start over. That happened a little bit in the previous map, except it wasn't darkness. But, not the end of the world. Looks like we take the teleporter. Can I go back? Sure can. Excellent. <laughs> well, that was easy. Couple of spiders. Okay, lots of spiders. Oh, I got 27 rockets. Okay. There's a lot of this kind of stuff in this wad. Where you can see below you, but you don't access it until much later. From my experience, you usually do access it. Just a matter of when and how. And whether or not it's secret. What's going on over here? Oh crap. Jeez. Okay. So yeah, chain gunner down below. Not playing with free look. Kind of burned me there a little bit. But that's okay. We weren't very far in. Come on. Come out and play. All right. Yeah, what some folks don't reali realize about Arachnatrons is they usually don't have much more health than two rockets. So if you want to preserve some rockets, just use two and then switch to the single shotgun or the chain gun. As a matter of fact, they sometimes die from two rockets. I feel like it's more well known that Manx don't have much more than three rockets worth. That's probably because you'll never super shotgun 
an Arachnotron in two. Even though you can rocket them in two. But you will super shotgun a mech in three. Or rocket him in three. Yeah, not a big fan of the monsters down those corners there. And that's exhibit A Y. Like, I can't even see where I'm getting shot from, and I don't have armor, so it's like before I can react, I lose 40 health. Still shooting at me. Well, that's helpful. I think they're up above me. Gosh, how did I not hit him? Twice. This is map 13. This is actually fairly downtownish. Well, I probably should have actually got the BFG while I was down there. Yeah, so it seems like that is actually what you're supposed to do, bail out into the nukage at some point, which I didn't think was the path of progression. But it may have been. Yeah, see, that's where you started, now you can see all that. Yeah. See, I should have a BFG right now. previous map was also flooded with rockets, so it's keeping me alive for sure. I just hope I have another chance to go back and explore that room properly. Okay, here we go. Jeez, see, yeah, that kind of stuff. Really not my favorite. Oh, 
that's the start, yeah. So that's gone now, but I can still go across it. Yeah, stuff like that really, really makes make these layouts fun, interactive. All right. Oh, you do have to come back with the red key anyway. So lift somewhere. So, free BFG. Map 13. Oh, the map shows me where it is. Cool. There's a lot you can do up there. Maybe. Yeah, it seems like Nicholas Monti likes to put monsters up high like this and likes to allow you to get up there. That's at least twice in three levels that this has happened. Yeah, this level's not my favorite. Um, these levels have been so good. And this one, I like it a lot, don't get me wrong. I don't know, something about it just isn't my favorite. Well, might as well get this chain gun. I think what it might be is it lacks the clear identity of some of the other maps. Some of these other maps have been just really standout-ish in terms of their gimmick or their design. Maybe this one lacks that a little bit. I don't know. I think I'm going to telefrag this Hell Knight. That'll be fun. I don't mind that you can go back. I a little bit mind how easy it is to go back. I think uh, maybe a simple way to change that up would be to teleport me onto a platform that I have to jump off of to come down here. And then maybe a line trigger or a switch lowers it back down so that then I can teleport back. But I maybe have to do one small thing to be able to go back. But as it is, you can teleport and then you can you can just bail out right away if you want to. And you can telefrag Hell Knights if you want to. That's not to say that fight was easy. The chain gunners definitely got the best of me in there. Oh look, I almost missed this area. A lot of goodies. Alright, let's go over here now. Yeah, every time you like cross one of these little bridges, you gotta take a look at at uh, what the view is. Because it's probably playable area somewhere you're gonna go later or somewhere you've already been. And that's always really cool. Well, that messed me up. Pretty bad. Oh, 
Okay, this is gonna... Wait, I thought I'd see the exit from here. Oh yeah, it's over there. Uh-oh. I knew there'd be a pain in elemental because I'm so far away. the stupid oh I'm way back here too. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah they can put me down real quick. Huh. Actually I think they can shoot me over this game. Yeah am I too tall for this? Looks like it's 64, which should be tall enough. Maybe it's not. Okay. And down we go. How convenient. Oh crap. <laughs> he kept coming. Alright, we're just gonna start with the BFG out this time. Didn't make much difference, did it? I save it. I saved it after. I saved it before I got the backpack, didn't I? Okay. So now I've got 40 cells again. Perfect. Still didn't kill him. enemies. What did I not do? Oh, well, that should be fast. That thing's too slow. Sean here is a little bit misaligned, too. I've never even been up here. Oh, no ammo. <laughs> oh. There's a whole other area here. Where have I been? Still no ammo. Yeah. <laughs> he was getting ready to teleport. Okay, one last switch combination will do it. Cool. And this will be another lift. Yeah, really cool progression.
Oh, stupid teleporter. <laughs> What's in here? A bear in a hell? I gotta say, I'm going for a max here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was really poor. That was like... Total noob moment right there. But I did call the Baron of Hell. You gotta give me that, right? Hang it, did it again. And again. All right, so I guess I have to chain gun him then? That's so boring. I'll just go hide over here for a bit. Yeah, tons of rockets. Alright, so, yeah, I ended up liking that one pretty well. I mean, just the way that, that these maps connect to themselves is just brilliant all the time. Um, for me, in, in Ultimate Doom, I don't remember when I first found out that Doom had no true 3D, like no 3D floors. Um, for me, I always thought, sever the wicked. E4, M3, I always thought, surely there's 3D floors, because look at Sever the Wicked, with all those staircases and, and the barren platform where you can be up on the ledge and down below. So, um, this is kind of, not this map, but this whole wad kind of strikes you that way. It's like, oh, like you could, it really kind of gives that illusion. If someone doesn't really know Doom... If someone doesn't know Doom, they're not playing Mass Extinction, but if someone doesn't know Doom and they're playing Mass Extinction, you might get them to believe that there is true floor over floor in Doom based on some of these levels. Um, just their design is, is really good. I had fun in this one. I thought maybe a few too many rockets, um, but I liked the progress. I liked I liked some of the rocket spam fights. Revenants, Arch, uh, not Arch, Arachnotrons, Mancubi. Um, yeah, some sticky traps. They're never too, too brutal, though. That's that's what I like about them. All these things are definitely first-time survivable for someone who's only as skilled as I am. And and that, I'm, that's not to say that I always survive on the first try, but but there are, I feel like I could have. You know, there are some maps where I play when I think there's no way I would survive that without foreknowledge. And that's, um, and that's not the map's fault always. Sometimes that's I'm not as good of a player. That being said, I, I appreciate maps like this where a more average skill level player could, you know, conceivably FDA the thing. Um, yeah, one other minor complaint is uh, some of the hit scan situations felt a little bit cheap, like the ones that are right below you with a tiny little gap that you can't really see them and they're just picking you off. And then towards the beginning, you got a chain gunner over in the darkness, far away, beyond your auto-aim abilities. But minor things, pretty much good stuff. That's map uh, 13. We're done.